All right, Red Glove Interview Series is back and it's going to be back every week. That is a promise from the Commando Central and this evening is really, really special. I have with me Mats Lundberg, um, very interesting individual and you'll find out why in a minute. He's also a great friend and we do cooperate on a series of projects and concepts. Uh, so I'm really, really happy to have the opportunity and actually pick his brain and let you guys know a little bit about who he is and what, what he stands for. Um, we met a couple of years back at a big event. And what I didn't know is that Mats actually bought the tickets to that event through me. So this was in Copenhagen. Uh, correct me if, if I'm wrong, Matt, right. and it was an early morning we, uh, in the breakfast hall. Yeah. Uh, and Matt said, hi, you know, it's you. And I was like, you know, who am I? <laughs> what do you mean? And then he said, you know, I bought the tickets to you. And that's how we connected the first time, you know, and a lot of things have happened uh, since then. Uh, so I'm really, really happy to to have you with us, Matt, this Thank evening. You. Thank you. Um you have a lot of different layers uh, to your being. So are you ready to dive into it? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. So as you know, and if you don't know, uh, I'm going to tell you, I usually start every interview series, you know, with uh, the gratitude questions. Mm. And, you know, before that, I some people ask me, why are you doing this? And, you know, the answer is very easy. We are bombarded, you know, by negative news. Every time you turn on something, it's negative. You know, building burning, plane crashing, terrorists coming at you, and so on and so on and so on. So I think, you know, we need more of the positive things that actually do happen on a daily basis and to promote people that do great things on a daily basis. So what we're doing here is actually, you know, giving some of those individuals a voice, a platform, so you get to know them better and they get to share the, their message with with you. So we are going to upload every video to YouTube also, uh, where you can rewatch it and, and, and share it on. So Mats, let's kick it. Gratitude, which three things are you most grateful for right now in your life? Well, I think, I think first of all, gratitude is the fundamental of your being. It is, it's the essence. It is connected to, to love uh, and appreciation and uh, the value of everything that really makes us tick. Uh, so for me, I must say that the most I, I appreciate and are thankful for uh, in my life uh, right now and forever is my girls. Uh, I have two lovely daughters. Uh, I love them infinitely, uh, and the relationship we have and the connection we have—it's—it's—it uh, it fills me with gratitude, and I'm—I'm mm -hmm. I'm really, really uh, deeply touched by what we have. Uh, awesome. So that's that's something I, I live with and breathe with, and, uh, and so forth every day. Uh, and I must also say that I'm—I'm—I'm—you know—I've been through some tough times. And uh, I am really aware that uh, life can be tough, really, really, really tough. Mm -hmm. So where I am in my life right now and, uh, and uh, the, the life I have built and, the, and the, you know, every little thing uh, that's connected to my life situation right now, I'm really grateful for. Uh, I have nothing to complain about. Uh, I am, I'm really grateful for everything that is uh, this mm. connect me to this state of being in this life situation right now. So that I must say is the second thing. And the third thing I uh, really, really <laughs> appreciate and are grateful for it is that I'm, uh, that I'm able to live a life where I make a difference. Mm. Uh, and, and to me, it's, it's, it's what I have been longing for my whole life. Uh, haven't been able to put my finger on it. But uh, really to make a difference, to feel that you connect with other people that appreciate what you give them, do for them, elevate them, inspire them, uh, and so forth. Uh, that is, that is, I'm really grateful that I have the opportunity to, to live that life and to, to make that difference to others. Wow. Awesome. Yeah. 
Awesome. You know. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people are searching for for meaning, mm. uh, you know, for mm. their purpose, and mm. you know, it, it seems like you have found it. You know, so kudos to you for for well, that. You know, and helping other people, you know, do the same and find their yeah. calling. I think that's a privilege. Yeah. Uh, it is. So thanks for sharing. How did you get into what you're doing, and you know what are you doing for yeah. people that know you, and yeah. why are you? Well, you can you can say that I, I inspire and educate people to become their very best. You know, shortly, uh, I am focusing on leaders uh, uh, and organizations to do that, but I'm also putting a lot of time into doing uh, a difference for uh, mentors who wants to make a difference for. Uh, young people. Mm -hmm. So I am in a non-profit organization and I'm the uh, responsible for the education. Uh, so I, I, I educate and train and mentor and coach the mentors to become good mentors for their youth. Uh, so that's one part of what mm -hmm. I do. Uh, and the other part is that I work as a consultant, mentor, uh, coach, trainer, and uh, be there for uh, leaders to really connect Put on mm -hmm. the the grand vision thinking and uh, lift the organization and the people in there and the leaders and the staff to to a level where everybody loves come to work feel that they make a difference and uh, have a a, a great uh, spirit in the workplace. Mm. Yeah. How did you get into all? That? I mean, if someone is watching mm. that maybe thinking, "Hey, this sounds really really cool. I would like to do the same." I mean, how mm. how do you go about? You know, because that, that's a lot of, you know, things. And yeah. how did you start? How did you get into it? Well, my journey has basically been through sales and marketing. Uh -huh. And uh, I was quite young when I became a sales, main, sell, uh, a sales manager. manager. Uh, and uh, from there, I, I got the opportunity to, to coach other new leaders in other uh, parts of our organization. Okay. And I really noticed that I, I, I love that uh, to, to help other leaders to develop and so forth, as well as develop my own team and, and have inspirational meetings and so forth. Uh, and then I, uh, you know, was carried away with success. Uh, I got an opportunity to move to Stockholm and start a, a new business there and mm -hmm. in health, which I'm really into. Uh, but I felt like I had lost something. Uh, and it took me some time to realize that the joy that I mm. felt was in helping others to become their best versions of themselves, especially leaders, uh, and so that they could influence others. And that took me on a journey uh, into the field of uh, self, uh, self actualization psychology. Mm -hmm. uh, and I have trained in you know, a lot of parts of the world uh, uh, to be able to make a real difference for. Uh, for other people today all right so it, it's been it's been a it's been a journey uh, but that's what i i noticed that i had this passion mm -hmm. and uh, that is what i did to to make the difference in my own life okay yeah. so did you notice because this is something interesting you know i know that there are a lot of people that you know are in similar situations and mm -hmm. Maybe mm -hmm. they're in, in, in a place where, yeah, the, you know, they make the money and uh, they feel important, but they're not fulfilled. Yeah. Uh, and that is when you're doing something, you know, that is not in the same frequency, uh, frequency and in the flow with what you're, yeah. you know, meant, meant to be doing. Yeah, and exactly. the decision, the decision to do something like you is mm. often based either, you know, on frustration and desperation because yeah. that negative feeling grows or, mm. you know, because you actually really, really feel uh, attracted to and you feel the joy of doing what you're meant to, to be doing. Yeah. You know? so yeah, exactly. What, what about you? You know, did you feel the frustration and w which made you switch or, you know, uh, well, to me, it was, I had a really significant change in my life when I moved to Stockholm and I start mm -hmm. feeling the, the meaning of life were like deprivating me. Uh, okay. And uh, so I had this, like this urge, this calling, and it was, it was deep. It was on a soul level, deep inner still voice calling. 
hmm. and uh, I had such I was I was thirsty and hungry for the deeper meaning of life. Uh, so uh, that was the the start of a of an inner journey. So I went first through an inner journey that put I put my life on hold. Uh, hmm. You know I I um, you know took some time off a year and a half. Uh, okay. and, and really just went inside to connect uh, mm. and uh, on a new level that I hadn't been connected to myself before. So, so what happened then was that I, I, you know, I was, I needed to throw myself out there to earn money again, you know, and, uh, you know, and then, then, you know, the, the, the pain the pain of not being true to what I now was connected to was I can't describe in words. It's it's hell, uh, and uh, that made me, mm. you know, the pain made me uh, really go for it. So, okay. uh, so, so for me, it was a painful experience. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't like I found joy and then the next level of joy and so forth. It was. Yeah. It was yeah. gruesome, gruesome pain. Uh, of of noticing that I didn't live my life. So, what would you say to people that mm. right now are thinking, "Hey, you know, mm. yeah, that that sounds really something and easy yeah. uh, or not, you know." But I mean, I yeah. cannot put my life on hold because I have bills to pay, I yeah. have children to take care of. I'm Absolutely. too old. You know, Absolutely. what would you say to them? Yeah, yeah. What will you know your advice be, considering yeah. that you went on that journey? Yeah, well, I, I don't know if you need to put your life on hold, but what you need to do when you start, mm. you, you feel that inner knocking, you know, there's something in there start knocking on your shoulder. Uh, and, and when you start feeling that, it's very important to listen. And I found meditation and, and be with yourself is one of the most crucial and valuable mm. moments we have during the whole day. Mm. Uh, so, so to find those moments where you are totally completely true with yourself even if it's just two minutes a day mm. that's your silent retreat where you can go to to find the answers that you need to hear and it can be painful you can be in the wrong relationship you can be on the wrong path you can be mm. and you you need to have the courage to to meet that to accept that and not necessarily do some drastic changes but just acknowledge okay just acknowledge that that I want to go in this direction and right now I'm here. I don't know how, I don't know the way, <laughs> and yeah. that's fine, that's fine. But now I know it's more like in this direction I want to go. So when you start to know mm. that, when you start to feel that, you, you can go into a sense of allowing things to change mm. mm -hmm. uh, and, 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 be, and, and step into a process. And I think that's okay. very important that we... we Oftentimes, things of change, and we think of change like something drastic, something that needs to happen right now. Uh, I need to make some drastic decisions and so forth. But you are not perhaps emotionally ready for it, uh, or, or the circumstances is not right for it. So you're forcing it. And mm. I believe there is some, something in life that is timing. And timing is really connected to where you are on a, on a being level. Mm. So when you're being in touch with that which you want, timing will happen. And if you, if you know that, if you open all inner doors for that to start happen, there will be some small adjustments. Mm. And, and suddenly there is an opportunity or there is a course opening up or there is a, you know, a weekend training somewhere you just feel the urge to go to, which is in mm. the direction of that which you want. And little by little, you come in the direction and then you come to a point where you really feel, now I need to make the decision because now I have come this far on this path. I feel mm. I can do this. I can, you know, I can take the step now and mm. I throw myself out there and do the jump into the unknown. It's scary, yeah. but it, it is, it is, you have more with you. You have, you have a power with you because you have, you have an urge, a lust, a passion. Mm that you take with you in that leap of faith. And um, so that's my advice. Start with the inner sense of just being. With the small steps. Small, small steps. steps and yeah. connect, connect with your true feelings of what mm. you really feel and sense of 
how you uh, are experiencing your life situ situation right now. Mm. Yeah. What do you say about the phrase that a mind that has expanded cannot go back to its original state? Yeah, it's a pain. But it's true. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's, and, painful, and if... it's painful. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. And, you know, when, when it happens, and, and that's what I think is really important if you go on the spiritual, you know, you work mm. on the spiritual side, because when, when, you, when you go that, down that path, mm. you start to be so open. Uh, so you, you really step into that grander world. Mm. Uh, and when you step into that grander world, everything else seemed trivial. It can, can seem trivial. So now yeah. you can't yeah. do uh, this little job over here because yeah. now you're destined for greatness. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and, 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 you know, and that can, be, that can be really tough to deal with uh, and feeling that you're doing something that is completely trivial and that you're connected to this bigger grand experience of you know, universal consciousness and so forth. Uh, so, so, so how do you tackle that? How do you tackle that? Because, you know, yeah. we are surrounded by people that have different level, levels yeah. of awareness, right? Sure. And, you know, we all develop in, in different ways and, you know, maybe not as fast. Um, yeah. So how do you tackle that when you get connected to your higher self and you're more aware, you know, of, of the wholeness? Yeah. How, how, do you, how do you tackle everyday life? This is what I'm actually trying to get at. How, yeah, well, how advice, there, is, there, is a, there is a Zen saying that actually, you know, put this finger mm -hmm. on this, and that is, uh, before enlightenment, carry water, shop wood. Mm. After enlightenment, carry water, shop wood. Yeah. You know, so, so the only thing you will discover on this path mm. is that it's the, the infinite value of life itself. You know, okay. that's what we will discover. You will discover your <laughs> own infinite value, you will discover every living being's infinite value, and you will, you know, you will discover the value of life. And and when you have found that, you can apply that on the simplest thing. You start chase, chasing the grand rewards beyond this moment. You know, it is you can find mm. you can find the value now and here. And so. Um, you know, Stuart Wilde, I don't know if you know Stuart Wilde, it's, it's, a, it's a guy I yes, followed, I followed over some years and read all yeah. his books. And, so forth. and he said that when I become enlightened enough, I will be a cab driver. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> you know, because, you know, there is something to it that you, when you can, you can bring value, because what, in the end, mm. we are beings that is made for being in service of each other. So that's, you know, when you are done with your own ego journey stuff, <laughs> you come out and it's all about other people. Mm. Uh, and, and when you can have that value and spread and give that value, uh, you can do that in the simplest uh, circumstances. So you, you are never off the path, even if you want to have other life circumstances. Mm. If you're connected to that, you can, you can have, you know, gone, gone all the way and, feel that you're connected to everything and universe and so forth. But if you do that, you're still doing it, being it. <laughs> yeah. And so, so, forth. so, so would you yeah. say if, if we're going to translate, you know, what you're saying uh, into more, you know, let's say business terms and yeah. we're going to talk yeah. a little bit about success soon. Yeah. Is that, you know, once you, you get to a certain point, do not stop doing the things that got you there. Because yeah. that's what I'm, uh, what I'm hearing. And even though you reach a, another level of awareness mm. and you get more connected, do not stop doing the things that, that got you there. You know, it's like tomorrow, oh, you know, sure. I cannot be bothering with that and not, oh, he doesn't understand me. Just be who you, who you are. Yeah. That's what you're saying, right? And keep doing the, the things that, you, that you've been doing that you found beneficial. For, for your journey yeah well that as, as well but if you if you talk about being like you know you feel the sense of being uh, on the path to 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 mm -hmm. make a difference and be connected to on a spiritual level and so forth th it's very important to to feel that you are connected to the people you are giving value to and if you mm -hmm. are doing that with you know on a very genuine level, you are giving value, you're making a difference for others, you want them to have a good experience and so forth. If you come from that perspective, mm. then you're doing it. 
Mm. But now you will have now you now you you want to give more, do it better. If you have a restaurant, you want them to feel yeah. like this new thing you have created, or so forth. You you are doing this for them. But how them. how do you know when you're truly genuine? You know what I mean? Because I've been thinking about it. Like, mm-hmm. When you do something, a service, and you think, hey, I'm doing yeah. it because I really feel for it, and I don't want yeah. anything back. You know, but how do you know that what you're thinking is, is, actually, is actually genuine and it's not the ego? Do you know what I mean? Because sometimes yeah. when we give, we, I mean sometimes, most of the times when we give, we actually feel good by giving and yeah. helping others. And yeah. it's not that, isn't that feeling kind of like egoistic because you, you do want to feel good? No, not at all. It's, you know what I mean? it's, how, it's how we are created. <laughs> you know, you're, you're, you're rewarded for doing good because if you weren't feeling the feeling of mm-hmm. feeling good when you're doing good, you know, you would stop. So it's, it's, okay. it's how we are created. You're created to get rewards of dopamine, serotonin, and so forth when yeah. we are doing the things that is giving us uh, a sense of doing good, uh, making, a pro- making progress, and, and so forth. We are, we are rewarded inside. So if yeah. you feel good when you give, mm-hmm. you are you are you're genuine. But if you if you feel <laughs> lack when you give, if you feel deprived when you give, if you feel yeah. where's my share, where's my thing uh, when you give, yeah. uh, you are coming from a, a, a level of need, and mm. there is something in there that hasn't been met that had that that needs to be taken care of, so you can feel that you are you are giving from the right place. So okay. when you giving when you're giving from from the right place, from a genuine place, it feels good. But what That's about it. when when you don't give from a genuine place? So yeah. I'm I'm thinking, let, you know, mm. let's let's put it like this. Mm. And I know that a lot of people can actually relate to what I'm going to say. Is that sometimes when you feel you know bad, or maybe you've done something that you're ashamed of, or mm. uh, and so on, you know that giving and helping other people. Would actually, mm. you know, give you joy, right? Like, like you say, because this yeah. is how we're programmed, yeah. and you do something that maybe you, you wouldn't always, you know, do. Let's say you give money to a beggar on the street, but that's not something that you do normally. Mm. But you know mm. that by giving money yeah. to the beggar, it's not okay. genuine, a genuine thing for you know helping the beggar. It's just I know that by giving, I'm going to get rewarded with uh, serotonin and endorphins, and I'm going to feel good. Do you, you know what I mean? How, sure. and that is not genuine because I'm doing it just so I feel better. Because look, I've 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 given him and take her a selfie something. as well when you're at it, and take yeah. a selfie. Post, post, post it on Facebook and and show everybody how good you are. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? So how? Yeah. I think it's 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 hard to know, even well, for yourself. You know what's yeah. pure genuine and what's yeah. a combination maybe. You, do, do I mean, know of, of of course it can be, but I if we put it into the context of business and you know mm. giving for what you want to serve the world with, you know mm. you can do you know hold up a door and you know feel good about yourself yep. for doing that. I mean, why not? If it's good, it's good. Why not? Uh, I think that's you know the world need more kindness. So so if we make an effort in that direction, great. But yeah. but what what we are talking about here. Uh, is that if you connect in your working environment and what you professionally do with mm-hmm. the with the sense of that I I really want the person that I'm meeting to have a good experience mm-hmm. to feel the value of what I'm providing uh, and so forth. If you if you are driven by that when you when you're connected to that, then you it's it's in a genuine place. Okay. Uh, many companies, you know, they want people to have a good, uh, you know, client uh, experience because if they don't have a, cli- a good client experience, we will lose them. They will go to our competition and so forth, yep. you know. So, yep. and that's, that's true, mm. but it's, it's not why you do it. You do it because you want them to have a good experience and that's it <laughs> okay so question rapid question to you yeah. if, if you had to choose you know you, let's say like this, you feel really really bad you need some human connection you need mm-hmm. someone and would you rather not have a hug at all or have a hug from a person that you knew that the hug was not, not genuine but it's still a hug and it feels good well does it I'm, I'm asking. Yeah. yeah, well, to me, to me, you know, you hug with your heart. Okay. You can wrap your arm, arms around people, you know, 
physically, yeah. but you hug with your heart. So when, okay. you, when you hug somebody and your heart is in it, mm. you transfer a, a sense of love, appreciation, and so forth. And it's, it's that transition that really makes us love hugs. It's not the physical somebody just wrapped your arm, uh, their arms around you that is making you feel good. Okay. You know, you want, you want the heart connection. That's a hug. Yeah. So I don't need a hug from anybody who hasn't <laughs> a heart in it. And I don't okay. give that kinds of hug myself. You know, I hug people with my heart. <laughs> oh, so I okay. That's, that's great. <laughs> I think that's important. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So let's, let's move on. Now, when you were younger or, you mm. know, let's say a child or just say younger, did yeah. you have any superhero that you liked more than others? And yeah. Who, yeah. who was that and why? Please share. You know. <laughs> well, there is this, uh, uh, it is a movie now with the, the, the Narnia, you know, the movie Narnia. Oh yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that was like, that was a, a cartoon, uh, you know, uh, a movie. Uh, okay. Many years back. <laughs> okay. And, you know, the lion, Ashlan, in that in that movie mm -hmm. really stood out for me i'm a i'm a leo myself you know i'm mm -hmm. so i'm born in that sign and i really resonated with this majestic lion good powerful a leader he has so many qualities that i really just adored okay so, uh, <laughs> he's, he's still <laughs> one of my greatest role models actually and uh, what qualities did, did this lion have that you adore? Wisdom, uh, mm -hmm. uh, power, used it for good. Uh, okay. He didn't need followers, mm. didn't need followers. He just led them in the direction of mm -hmm. their uh, freedom uh, and their uh, joy, happiness, mm -hmm. and the, the world. Uh, that was beneficial for all, for all. Mm. Uh, so, so uh, he had many, you know, greater qualities, qualities of a greater being. Uh, Sounds like an anchor, anchored. Absolutely, being. absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. Another question, and you're the first one that actually gets this one. All right. <laughs> if you could choose an animal, you know, like the Indians in, yeah. in Native America. That would yeah. represent your your being, who you are, your inner core. You know, which yeah. animal would you choose? Yeah. Well, I think you know from the previous question, <laughs> the lion. That, uh, yeah, absolutely. It is it is my animal connection. I have the animal connection to it. And actually, I've done. Yeah. You know, I'm trained in uh, alchemical hypnotherapy, uh, yeah, and uh, and and a part of the what we do in that journey is connect to our spirit, spiritual animal. And we let that come to you, but I was so already so connected to my to the Leo Aslan, yeah. uh, so that was just naturally what appeared to me, and, and I have really strong connection to it. Okay, so, and you yeah. you can help other people find out about absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Well, so we're I have this... talk tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So so I, I how work... do you do it? Well, during hypnosis, you can do a lot of things. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I work with hypnosis uh, now and then. I, I used to have a, a, a practice. Uh, but now, now I'm all, you know, working with it selectively. And, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and I can take people through journeys through previous lives and so forth to, to connect to, to uh, qualities and talents and abilities that they have from previous lifetimes and, uh, and so forth. <laughs> Uh, as you know, yes, I, 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 I do have it here. Oh, really? The journey. <laughs> oh, yeah. So I, I have it in pictures, and this is, you know, what you helped me with. Yeah. And yeah. It, it's all, I think, three lives that we went back. Yeah. Actually, that's right. Uh, so I'm really thankful for that. That was an unbelievable experience, and yeah. I wish more people would, you know, just let go and have the courage to to do that with someone that that is obviously you know knows what he or she is doing like like you like you you know because i felt really comfortable and and secure and i could relax in a way that i didn't think was possible when doing mm. things like that so mm. i'm i'm thankful for that yeah it was a pleasure uh, 
it is it is really special when you you when you enter into some some other people's uh, subconscious mind and mm. we explore that and uh, you know i have theories what really happens and we don't need to to put it into you know are you really going back to previous lives i say who knows <laughs> maybe yeah. we are but the the really the really strong things is like your subconscious mind is producing these experiences mm. and uh, you know in the in the subconscious mind uh, it's it's metaphors for everything that you are and been through and so forth so it's all valuable regardless so exactly yeah. i think it's yeah. hugely valuable yeah. and yeah just to, to you know get in touch with the subconscious mind which yeah. is where a lot of things reside. You know, we yeah. think that is the conscious part. No, no, mm. right? It's the unconscious. Yeah. Uh, so I'm thankful for that. All right, let's 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 move on with the next question. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you spend a big chunk of your money on? Well, there's two two things I think I probably spend most mo mm -hmm. of my money on. Uh, and I'm really into health and nutrition and so forth. So I'm always uh, exploring new nutrition. So I'm really open for that field. I, I uh -huh. uh, you know, I have quite uh, uh, yep. a lot of a lot of uh, new things appearing every month. I, I want to be in good health and mm -hmm. exploring the things that uh, makes me, uh, you know, be vital and uh, and aware and have all my cognitive uh, uh, abilities present and so forth. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, so that's that's something I spend a lot of money on. Uh, uh, or so your health, re relatively, you huh? You, your health, you, I mean, yeah. and your well well being. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. that's really important to me. Uh, mm. And the other thing is education. You know, I, mm. I uh, I'm always open for uh, uh, new trainings or new uh, you know uh, things that is presented on the internet. You can download or mm -hmm. books or trainings or, mm -hmm. or whatever it is that. Uh, you know, propelling me in the direction of what I want. So uh, that would be the second one, I think. So readers are truly leaders. Yeah, well, yes, absolutely. So you, you're yeah. constantly learning, you're taking in new information in, in, mm. in, in any way you can. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, okay, let's, let's move on. We do have some, um, you know, questions coming up. Yeah. And, you know, we're going to take them in a while. Mm -hmm. sure. Now, if we move on to, let's say, a book, you know, that has had a big impact on you uh, that you would like to share, recommend, yeah. could, could also be a movie or audio or, you know, mm -hmm. something that's, you know, people, they need to get their hands on this one. Okay. What would you say? Well, well to me, you know, I've read a lot of, you know, psychology books and so forth, but I don't know if that's, you know, that interesting. Uh, mm -hmm. because I, I think, you know, you need stories in there. You need a lot of those things. And to me, a book that I really resonated me, uh, with me and I really uh, want to give that opportunity mm -hmm. to read is uh, Richard Branson's uh, okay. self-biography. Uh, it's called okay. Losing, my, Losing My Virginity. Mm -hmm. uh, Losing My Virginity. Yeah. yeah, when I hold speeches and so forth, I, I often uh, uh, put out some references and some stories from that book because if you really look into how he became the one he is, mm. he has a lot of, uh, you know, he's really thankful for, uh, to his mother. And you can really okay. see how she, uh, how she treated him uh, and uh, related to him during his youth was, you know, wonderful. So mm. it, it's a wonderful, wonderful book. And uh, of course, it's just filled with stories and, and unbelievable adventures and so forth. And it's all true. Uh, so, so it's, <laughs> you know, it's, it's the real, you yeah. know, it's the so, so I love those kinds of books, especially that one. So Losing My okay. Virginity with Richard Branson. Uh, I'll, I'll have to pick it up. Thanks. Yeah, it's great. Thanks. For sure. Sure. I haven't read that. I only yeah. read Screw It, Let's Do It. You know. Yeah, me too. I have that. Yeah, well. Yeah, well. <laughs> so losing my virginity, get your hands on it. Uh, yes. I mean, not the virginity, but the book. Uh, <laughs> and it, I think you can download it, right? If you if if you, oh, you want probably to listen, can. you probably yeah. can. You probably can. Yeah. All right. So last question: mm. uh, If you had the opportunity to leave a message behind you to the world, you know, so mm. it could be on a giant billboard, mm. uh, could be through artificial intelligence entering everybody's brain. We don't know right. how technology is going to evolve, but yeah. you have the chance to leave one message behind you. Yeah. 
before you you move on you know mm -hmm. what would that message be to the world from you that mes message would be you have greatness within mm, wow that's awesome that's yeah. awesome so to remember right that is really important to to know mm. uh that you have and uh, you know that's what i've spent my you know a good mm. portion of my life uh, studying uh and uh, what what that what it means to to mm. live our full potential and and so forth uh and the aspects of it and so forth and i can just say with 100% certainty you have greatness within mm. yeah so do you Matt. <laughs> thank you <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> So, yeah. if if people want to get in touch with you after mm -hmm. the interview, how they go about? What is you know the easiest way to to connect with you? You can um, always email me, uh, Mats dot Lundberg uh, at newchapter dot mm -hmm. se. So Mats dot Lundberg at newchapter dot se. Okay. Uh, so you're always welcome to to contact me, and uh, I'm currently working on a new homepage and 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 things like that. It will be a new newsletter. Uh, and so forth. So if you email me, I can add you to that list uh, mm. when, when we are up and running. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. So let's say, you know, if we have any questions, uh, excellent topic, guys, from from Sami here. He smiles, says hi. So any questions to, to Mats, now is the time to ask him, you know, and if, if not, you can always write a little bit Absolutely. later in, in the comment fields and we'll, yeah. we'll even put your email address right in, in the commentary fields uh sure afterwards. Absolutely. yes uh books that you recommend you know from uh, michelle well you know he he recommended losing my virginity with richard branson well if, uh, I, if, I, if i'm going to take another book uh yeah? it's a little bit of a hard read but it's a really really important book and it's uh it's called power versus force okay uh, Power versus Force uh, with uh, uh, David Hawkins. Uh, David Hawkins, okay. His name is David Hawkins, and he's mm -hmm. done a, a kinesthetic study uh, okay. for 25 years of what makes you strong. So we have a, like a lie detector test in our nervous system, uh, mm -hmm. and uh, he applied different states ah. and so forth and uh, discovered what is true power. And when are we confusing power with force? Mm. Uh, so it mo moves all the way up to love and enlightenment and so forth. But the, it's the re what's really interesting that I feel is the is the line between when you are enforcing, uh, mm. when you are you're, you're you know you're you're putting yourself at a higher mm. value level than others and so forth and elevating yourself or, or so forth when you when you're projecting and so forth and when you step into power. And the difference there, the line between that is something that is really interesting in that book. And it's connected to, you know, everything. So it's really, mm -hmm. really interesting read. Power versus awesome. Force with David Hawkins. Can recommend it. Okay. We, we can put that too in the, in the comments Absolutely. field. Absolutely. Right? Yeah. All right. So any more questions? Uh, All right. Well, Matt, thank you so much for being a guest in the red glove interview series we're going to upload this video to youtube where you can you know share it rewatch it and so on do connect with mats i promise you it's 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 worthwhile in in doing that and i wish everyone a great evening and a great week ahead thanks a lot Mats. thank you thank you a lot bye bye